Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove antivirus soft from your computer. And antivirus soft is a fake and uh, malicious uh, antivirus client. It, it's not a real one, and you will notice once you're infected with it, you cannot basically run any programs at all. You can't bring up your task manager, or you can't run any security software. It oftentimes will disable your security software. And the purpose of this guide is to show you how to fully remove it. And this guide will work for Windows XP, Windows 7, and uh, Windows Vista. Uh, just uh, minute changes here and there and we're doing this currently running on a uh, Windows XP system and once again please refer to the guide at removevirus.org we do not answer um, any questions here on YouTube or any other social networking site so you can feel free and ask your questions in the guide itself that's where I answer it uh, that just saves us from having to keep repeating ourselves one of the first things you're gonna have to do with this is because you can't run any software programs at all you're going to want to um, first of all, show hidden files and folders, and just go under here for our show show hidden files and folders, and I'll act, it, it show you exactly how to do it for uh, Vista and Windows 7 users. Otherwise, for everybody else, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the uh, Windows Start button. I'll just show everybody in XP how to do it, and it's very easy to do in Vista. You just go into the Control Panel, boom, just go into the folder options there, really, and you should be able to find it. So, let's go ahead and go to Tools folder options view and right here you just want to check this box by default usually this is going to be checked we want to go ahead and check this box show hidden files and folders and just go ahead and hit OK and from there we can go ahead and begin so now that we can see our, our hidden files and folders like I, uh, once again that's an absolute must you have to do that we're going to go under documents and settings for all the uh, Vista Windows 7 users it's going to be the app data and that's uh, in our in our guide clearly shown we show the paths so you're going to want to go under your user account in this case it's SD SDF you may have your user account being your name uh, that's generally how most people operate then we're going to go under let's see here application data which is the hidden folder I'm sorry, I lied. It's not uh, there. It is under. Let's go back one. Local settings. There we go. Local settings and application data. Sorry about that. And uh, that's the other place you can look to is the app data before the local settings, just in case. And for, like we said before, for the Windows 7 and Windows Vista users, it's going to be on the app data local, and that's in our guide. So right here you, is what you're going to do is everybody's name is going to be different. It's going to be something similar to this. This here says VJHJPJ. Yours may say something. Usually it's going to be these five characters, five or six characters. It may see STVAV or something along those lines. Anything close to that. And go ahead and open it. And this file right here, this is what it was called. This FRLESFTAV. This is going to be unique and different for everybody. Uh, these first things will change and will move around. So what we want to do is quickly, I already kind of renamed part of it. I already added this REN name on there just because I couldn't run any software, not even screen capturing software, uh, to show you how to do it. So this is what it originally looked like. You just right click on it, hit rename, and rename it anything you want. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all. And once you rename that, go ahead and reboot your computer and then go right back into this exact same path and from there you should be able to right click on it and delete it and once you do that you officially haven't fully removed the threat but most of it is removed right now the actual main threat of it popping up all I did is rename that and then reboot your computer by rebooting I mean shut it off turn it back on the other thing that you should try if uh, you're having troubles here with this is to boot into safe mode. To boot into safe mode, turn off your computer, turn it back on, start hitting the F8 key every other second, and just uh, load up in safe mode. And you should be able to go to the same path and delete it. And if we actually look at our guide here, and I found the guide just by typing in into virus soft uh, on removevirus.org. Uh, you're going to see, hey, I got the path down here. We're actually going to change. Oh, I do say local settings here, app data. So that is the correct path but these names here will will be random and you'll notice that that end one can be different and then you're going to want to go ahead and uh, follow the actual registry editing ones too because you want to remove it from the registry too 
as well. And that's about it for this. Uh, it's pretty simple to delete once you're able to overcome the program actually running. We do highly recommend that you scan your computer with an antivirus client. We ourselves love uh, Spyro Doctor with antivirus. It's what I predominantly use. Uh, you can download it from our site or anywhere else you like. Uh, the other client to use would be uh, Malwarebytes. We really like them too as well. And so Spyro Doctor with antivirus and Malwarebytes, those are the two clients. Both of them can be downloaded from our site. Uh, other than that, besides registry keys to delete, we do have a guide on here already uh, showing you how to delete uh, the registry keys that are needed. Worst case scenario here, if you're unable to remove this threat and just nothing's working for you and you just need an expert to help you out, online computer, let's see if we can do it, online computer repair.org. There we go. And, and this is a great website to use. We highly recommend them. Uh, they sponsor us too as well. And it, it's it's all on. It's a remote computer repair company. They're great at what they do. They can fully remove their virus for you. It's a great way to go. And again, that's onlinecomputerrepair.org. Otherwise, we do recommend you use uh, Spyro Doctor with antivirus uh, to help and do a scan afterwards just to ensure that you're not infected with any other Trojans. In three of our testings of this threat, we did find other Trojans uh, installed on the system. So it's very important that once you remove this fake client that you go in and you actually run a security scan using whatever your favorite security client is. I don't care what it is, but you just need to run a scan. And that is it. Uh, again, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org. You take care.